All right, welcome back to another CC Outdoors video. This one's a little bit different. As you can see, I'm in my house. Um, so today I'm gonna to be talking about tips for increasing hookups when you are throwing topwater frogs like these. Um, I know a lot of people have issues hooking up and there's a variety of reasons why it's tough to hook up with these baits. Uh, one just being that they're a rubber bait or whatever and you have with a hollow body and the fish has to completely inhale it to get the hooks. But I'm going to be teaching you guys a couple different modifications you can make to your bait and then giving you some tip on how you're just gonna be hooking up more. So for this first step, get some water in a little pot here and start heating it up until it's boiling. Now, the reason we're gonna be doing that is because as you can see here, this, uh, this rubber here is kind of stiff. Um, it's not horrible. These bronze eye frogs are pretty good, but other frogs I've had are really hard. So we're going to boil these to get them a little bit softer. Um, this is also commonly used by swim bait fishermen. They do this to make the tails on their soft body swim baits uh, softer, like on your Huddlestons, your live targets, uh, stuff like that, your savage or pulse tails, where it's got that boot tail, it'll increase your action. Now it's the same concept with this. You're just making that rubber softer so the fish can bite down easier and get those hooks easier. This water is almost to a boil, so then I will get back once it's boiling. So now that our water is beginning to boil, we're just gonna wanna throw these frogs in there and let them sit for about 30 seconds. Now while we're waiting, let me just add in, this is completely safe. Just make sure that you wash out your pot when you're done. All right, so now that these have been in there for a minute, I'm just gonna take them, let them dry off for a second, shut the stove off. So as you can see here now, this is much softer. I will run out to the shop and get another one out of the package just to show you guys the comparison, but that is a lot easier for the bass to bite down on. All right, now while it's gonna be hard to tell, kind of by video, I will show you guys. So this is unboiled and this is boiled, so. There's your uh, side by side. The video isn't gonna show it as well, but there's definitely a difference there. All right, so the second tip I'm gonna be giving you guys is just to be giving these hooks a slight upward bend as they're still kind of buried in that plastic there. So you just take your pliers, get in there, and just slightly bend each hook back here. Doesn't have to be a ton. Like that is barely noticeable, but it'll make all the difference. Now I'll do that with the other side here. And make sure not to pinch your barbs, otherwise you will lose a lot of fish. So the last tip I'm gonna give you guys is to be trimming the skirt on these frogs. Now on these Spro bronze eyes, they're not terribly long. You could get away with doing this but like on the pad crashers, it's ridiculously long and you have to trim those, but I'll still trim this one just for an example. So on most frogs, you're gonna want it to be about the length of the body, which this one is. So this one you could get away with using, but it's still a little bit long for my liking just because this is an oversized frog. So we're gonna cut off like maybe half an inch of it. So I just grabbed it and pulled it tight here. And now we are just gonna cut off a little bit. Make sure you get toward the back of your scissors or whatever you're using to cut so it doesn't uh, just bend. And just take it slow, you don't wanna mess it up. And there you go, now your skirt is just a little bit shorter. You can trim the excess here, which I'll do. So as you can see, now the legs are even on this frog, so I'm just gonna clean up this mess here. So now right here, we have the ideal frog. It's boiled, then it's soft. The hooks are bent out a little bit and the legs are trimmed. So now a couple more tips that I will give you guys um, before I conclude this video is for one, when you are throwing that frog, um, when you get your blow ups, uh, eventually, um, those fish are going to miss it a lot or they're not gonna get it deep. So you wanna wait like, one to two seconds, just counting your head before you set the hook. It's gonna be hard the first couple of times, but you'll eventually get used to it. Otherwise, wait till you cannot see that frog till it's gone um, is another way to do it. But yeah, if you're just blowing it up or uh, setting the hook right when they're blowing up because they're coming out of the water and you're 
So the fish is like here, just about out of the water, just where you're starting to double up and you're setting the hook, pulling it away as the fish misses it. So then the next tip I wanna give you guys is use heavy gear. So I throw mine on a 7.4 Daiwa Tatula heavy fast action and I pair that up with 50 pound braid. For my reel, I'm using a Shimano Corrado DC 8.5 to one. You are gonna want a fast gear ratio because when that fish misses it, you blow up, pull away. Um, you're gonna want to reel up, get that bait right back on top of the fish, and almost always they will blow up on it again. So yeah, you want heavy braid, fast reel, heavy rod, because you're gonna be pulling those fish out of thick weeds. And so that brings me to the last tip. You're gonna to want to be throwing this in a heavy cover. So um, I'll actually show you guys right out in front of my house is something that I would frog a lot. Now frogging isn't always something that you're gonna be doing in lily pads. You can be, I've caught frog fish open water. Um, if you're just like where there's thick weeds submerged but there's nothing on top, I throw frogs there. Like I just showed you guys out front, that's curly tail pond weed. I frog that stuff a lot. Um, and then lastly, obviously your lily pads. And one other way that's not so common that I do a lot is frogging docks. Um, now there doesn't have to be any weeds there. I just like to cast up on shore, swim it right alongside the dock, um, maybe even under the dock. And I've caught a lot of fish doing that. It basically has the same effect of throwing like a spook or a stutter step or some sort of walking bait. Or if you're throwing a popping frog, it's just like throwing a popper. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. I would much appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.